know it's been a while since I did my last review. Fortunately, man, I've got some businesses in the real world that have definitely uh, needed some attention due to their expansion. So I do apologize that, but as you all know, the real world does take priority over my YouTube hobby. What I've got here today, this was sent to me by none other than Gail. This is her version of a zombie survival kit or a zombie survival ration. And again, it's got some cool little art on there with the contents, but we're not going to spoil anything. It's really cool. She sent to me an actual legit lunchbox. This is the first time I think I've actually had like one of these uh, stamp lunch boxes since I was a little kid. So that is absolutely outstanding. Well, let's take a look what we've got inside of this thing. And just as a caveat, I know the audio in this poor camera is going out. I've tried like three or four different cameras, and I've just not been satisfied with their ability to zoom in and pick up detail. So eventually I will have that worked out in my Rode microphones will be in place and my audio lighting all of that will for once and for all be hopefully satisfactory who knows take a look what we got inside some bubble wrap I guess we can use this when the zombies are outside the door we got something to do we can pop some of those use it for the wood stock on our rifles have a little survival kit. We'll take a look at that shortly. It is in a sardine tin. Sounds like maybe some fish hooks or something cool in there. Cashews with sea salt. We've all seen one of these. This is a standard MRE spoon. Get some sardines. What is that? In mustard sauce. Mmm. Tamales. Yum. Crackers look like rich crackers. We'll take a look at that. All kinds of an accessory packet. Looks like we've got some honey straws. There's Sherman in the background. You might have heard him. A plastic bag. I guess we can use this as a water purification bag. We'll find out. Esbit stove with some fuel tabs and some candies. I guess the doubt you could use them as a bobber for your fishing kit if you had it. We'll take a look at this stuff now. And while looking at my tamales, I actually have a P51 can opener on top. Cool. All right, let's take a look at this one first, this little survival 10. Well, that's interesting. I wonder what that is. Sitting out here all by its lonesome. Smells like licorice. How odd that that's not like wrapped. And there was some sugar or salt in there that has exploded. Maybe I shouldn't have shaken that around. Over there in the corner, there was a fish hook. Hmm, that is interesting. Now I got this sugar all over my workstation. So sugar, a little pencil, safety pen, razor blade, stick of gum, Tootsie Roll bit. Looks like you got some thread to sew some stuff up. A little button compass. Always come in handy when you're lost. This poor thing, I don't know, kind of smells like licorice. A band-aid, a whistle. <laughs> And I'm guessing a little drink packet. Inside you got some matches. Paper clip, which could be used as an expedient fish hook. Little instruction leaflet. Some tape. Thing of tea. Got some ointment. Alcohol swab. Some acetaminophen. And lastly, some salt. And let's look at this accessory packet. Nice zip seal bag. You 
your beverage bags, kind of nice to have. Mix your drinks, do whatever, keep your wallet in there. Some instant grits. I was going to say chai tea latte, but we all know now that chai means tea, so you've got tea latte. Some scented gum. I don't think I've had that before. Some coffee creamer. Looks like we got some coffee, some Colombian roast. Starbucks. Mm, I might not drink that. Just not a fan of Starbucks. Dark chocolate peanut and almond bar. In here we got some Ghirardelli chocolates and you got a few of these little uh, mint type things. Yogurt raisins. Two mango peach drinks. And another Starbucks. It's not that I like have a political agenda against Starbucks. I just don't see spending five, six bucks for a cup of coffee, but that's just me. Now let's look at this last thing right here. I think I can see some peanut butter in here right off the get-go. No, it's actually, it's cheese bread. Hmm. Cheese bread. Hot chili lime sauce. Salt, sugar, pepper, matches, and some TP. And this is everything that is inside of our zombie survival kit. Thank you, Gail. So just want to say thank you all that are participating in this make your own ration thing and, and sending them in for some middle. I've got like three or four more of these and I think I have one more sitting at the post office to try out. I know I've kind of been slacking on these, but again, I have had uh, stuff in the real world that has just taken a little more of my time than I usually plan on. But thank you again very much for those of you that are participating and I am going to bust in to my menu number seven of that 2018 case A and B ration reviews, which will be coming up soon.